Market Trends of Luxury Cars The luxury car business, as per the report has documented 20% improvements in customer satisfaction and 10-15% to increases in sales conversion performance. Employees embrace it, too, with companies seeing 20-30% to increase in employee engagement. The luxury car market lately is seeing a smart uptick. The new age consumers are driven by all sorts of luxuries from comfort to convenience to the best entertainment and safety features coupled with advanced technology like Udosh, the latest electrification ado, and so on. The subtle shift from the need to wanting a premium car backed by the big brand names is the reason behind the steady growth of the segment. The sales of luxury cars continue to grow in terms of generating profits or the cognitive urge that ends up with a purchase decision. Here's why. Witnessing the shifts in the geographical formulation, the non-traditional markets have picked up momentum. According to a McKinsey report, the Asia-Pacific region is expected to have the highest growth graphs between 2021 and 2026, propelled by the increasing number of ultra-high net worth individuals, UHNWIs, and high net worth individuals, HNWIs, predictions put the percentage growth in the UHNWI population in Asia at 33% compared with 28 and 27% in the United States and the European Union, respectively. Growth trends in the HNWI population should exceed those of the UHNWI cohort, increasing by more than 60% in Asia compared with less than 53% in the European Union and the United States between 2021 and 2026. Battery electric vehicles will be dominant across all luxury segment tiers by 2031. Consumers today are very open to sustainable alternatives and research indicates that EVs are highly in vogue among affluent customers. The adoption rate will however vary, considering the price aspect of the vehicle. Global figures suggest that more than 70% of current owners of premium and luxury internal combustion engine ICE, vehicles are willing to switch to EVs during their next vehicle purchase, as per the report. The demand for SUV has been constant across segments, and the trend is not going to go away anytime soon. SUVs are also becoming more practical in a way that they're getting electrified. In terms of share, SUV sales are likely to increase from less than 25% to 40% between 2021 and 2031. Meanwhile, the shares for other popular segments such as sedans and sports cars will probably fall to 20 and 40%, respectively, in 2031 from 25 and 50 percent in 2021, the report suggests. As many wealthy buyers desire greater resilience given the broadening regional applicability of SUVs, around 50 percent of premium and luxury car buyers prefer SUVs as their next purchase, the report adds. Living in the ever-evolving times, managing continual engagement and personalized experiences for the customers is a must for any and every industry. Nothing like clubbing luxury in an exclusivity. Experiences unlike the traditional franchise dealerships which lack the seamless omni-channel experience which results in unconvinced customers. Research has shown that fewer than 2% of customers consider the dealer approach in market segments to be ideal. With the luxury OEMs having created a go-to market approach, results have started changing and it is no surprise, then, that adopting the direct-to-customer approach and actively innovating to meet evolving customer needs has brought a return on sales by more 5%. McKinsey's analysis reveals that a leading EV specialist using a DTC go-to market model spends about half as much in terms of cost of sales compared with an incumbent OEM. The fact that the increase in more millionaires and billionaires will affect the sales growth nexus for sure. The growth network for luxury automobiles that is now taking a new route from North America and Europe to Asia and the Middle East with the strong Geolocation and technology shifts indicates a demand for the high-ticket automobiles which in turn is attracting new entrants in the luxury market. Report analysis suggests that the growth in luxury car segments will vary by price band, with higher price brands seeing somewhat more growth. The 21st century luxury cars need to evolve as quickly as they could and this calls for learning from the competitors. Keeping pace with what the market demands is no more going to work, as it is the age where the automotive players have to think one step ahead of what they intend to do and set benchmarks for the others. Customization class coherence and a mix of experiential diversity is what calls for the success of the luxury car market. The luxury car business, as per the report has documented 20% improvements in customer satisfaction and 10-15% to increases in sales conversion performance. Employees embrace it, too, with companies seeing 20-30% to increase in employee engagement, and the process tends to be labor neutral or better.
Managing to set itself apart from the mass market, the luxury sector continues to make profitable growth, despite all the undulations. Despite fears of recession and rising costs of living, the luxury market is overperforming. Only in September 2022, the Consumer Price Index for All Urban Consumers, CPIU, increased 0.4% on a seasonally adjusted basis, according to data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Furthermore, over the last year, the All Items Index grew 8.2% before seasonal adjustment. Let's face it, we don't need fancy data to understand that things are getting too expensive lately. But it seems paradoxical that in this challenging economic climate, high-income consumers continue to buy niche luxury products, all while boosting sales for premium brands. In the automotive industry, luxury vehicle brands stand apart, says McKinsey & Company. Where the mainstream market has largely stagnated, with little to no growth expected through 2031. The luxury segments should gain share during the same period, with growth rates ranging from 8 to 14 percent annually, McKinsey & Company analysts added in an article. What's more, Margins in the luxury segment ranged in the double digits from 2016 to 2021, while the mass market remained in the low single digits during the same period. The global management consulting firm also notes that the four luxury car tiers that will have compound annual growth rates of 8 to 14 percent through 2031 are $80,000 to $149,000, $150,000 to $299,000, $300,000 to $500,000, and above $500,000. Conversely, McKinsey & Company forecasts that the market for vehicles priced below $80,000 will reach a modest 1% growth through 2031. 2. Be fair, if we look at the luxury manufacturer's Q3 earnings, we can already see how successful they are becoming. The Mercedes-Benz Group saw Q3 earnings up 83% to $5.1 billion, and the luxury car manufacturer announced to investors it expects group earnings to grow at least 15% in 2022. Meanwhile, Audi of America reported Q3 sales are up 20% year-over-year to 49,267 deliveries, despite the chip shortage and supply chain issues. So, what boosts demand for luxury cars? The number of ultra-high net worth individuals, those with more than $50 million in assets has grown globally by 50%, according to a report by Credit Suisse. Additionally, 30,000 more individuals joined the ranks of the ultra-affluent U.S. class in 2021. In total, the United States has 141,135 ultra-high net worth individuals with net assets of at least $50 million. But it's not just the mega-rich class that is growing. In fact, research shows that another class of luxury consumers is expanding, the Henry's high earner, not rich yet, also dubbed the working rich. Young professionals who earn an income of $100,000 to $250,000 a year belong to this class. Luxury houses consider the Henrys the customers of the future because they are aspirational buyers, so brands try to build loyalty. For instance, Mercedes-Benz is targeting these customers with the entry-level A-Class and Audi with the A3 and the A4. Automakers know that if customers are happy with their vehicles and the quality of care, they will become brand loyalists and keep purchasing more expensive models as they move up the income scale. Overall, the consumer categories that purchase luxury automobiles are always expanding, so it makes sense that automakers are concentrating on them and their wants and needs. Like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel.